Greetings, my friend. I am here at my condo in Asok in Bangkok, Thailand. This is Edge 23. Today, we're gonna do a cost of living video and I'm gonna include a little condo tour in addition to that. And we're gonna talk about how I live here in Bangkok and how much it costs. This is not going to be a budget living video. This is not a backpacker budget. Actually quite the opposite. It's more of a upper middle class living lifestyle cost video. I'm gonna go for a swim here at the pool. I'm gonna show you around the condo. We're gonna go work out at the gym. I'm gonna talk about how much everything costs for me to live here in Bangkok. Let's do it. Work it, baby. Work it, baby. Oh, look at that sweat. Here we are in the gym at the condo building. This gym is quite minimal, as you can see. Not the best, uh, but I have worked out in here quite a few times, many times, just because I was saving money up until now not buying a gym membership, but I just signed up for Jets, which is where we're gonna go next. So, this is the little tiny gym at Edge 23. <laughs> why, why do you look so grumpy? What you wanna do, tell me what you like. What you wanna do, tell me what you like. What you wanna do, tell me what you like. Just say the word, baby, I'ma get you right. What you wanna do, tell me what you like. All right, so here we are in my condo unit. This unit is very small, about 30 square meters. It uh, came furnished, chairs, the couch, and the bed. Came with the TV also. And a washer, but no dryer, so. Gotta hang dry the clothes out here on the balcony. Got the small kitchen here with uh, two stove tops and a little microwave. I never, I never cook. I always just order delivery and eat out. We'll talk about that later with the cost of food. The couch was really bad. This couch was bending in the middle and just not comfortable at all, but there was nothing I could do about that. Unfortunately, I wasn't gonna buy a new couch to put in a unit that I was renting. Anyways, balcony's pretty small. Can't really even chill out there. It's just for hanging clothes. Got a little flat screen TV that the place came with. Some chairs over here that were mainly used to hang clothes on. Bed was not too bad. The bed was sufficient. I think this is a queen. Got the closet right here. In the bathroom. Bathroom's pretty cool. Shower's pretty big, so shower's nice. The power in this building is extremely expensive. The power bill here is around 3,500 to 4,000 baht a month with me running the air conditioning on and off during the day and then on at night. So really expensive for the power, but we'll talk about that again later during the financial summary of everything. And I'll talk about all the things. So, <coughs> excuse me. Pollution in Bangkok is real. <coughs> oh yeah. If and when you move here, you're gonna wanna get yourself some air purifiers too. I got one air purifier in the living room and one in the bedroom. Keep it on when I sleep. <clears throat> yeah, Bangkok air pollution, no bueno. One thing that I liked about this unit, a great view, as you can see. Let's step out here on the balcony so you can check out the view. So yeah, when I'm chilling in bed at night, right here, and I can see the city out there with all the lights. It's pretty sweet. However, I pay 19,000 baht per month for this unit, which is a really good deal. Other units that I was looking at in less central locations were going for more. And so when I found this one and negotiated to 19,000 baht per month, it's really a good deal for the location 
because it's right across the street from Soy Cowboy, right at the Asok BTS and Sukhumvit MRT. So it's right here in the heart of Bangkok. So can't really beat it for the price and the location. Fantastic. I do have to say that the tiny little room is kind of mentally suppressing. You gotta try to get out of the condo as much as possible. The place is a mess because I'm about to move out of here, actually. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos on where I'm moving next. All right, let's go to the gym real quick. Can see Soy Cowboy from the condo. That is the soy of the cowboys. So there's a separate parking garage building that you can see right here that's next to the actual condo unit building. I think there's nine floors of parking here. There's always plenty of available parking. And there's a garden on the top of this parking building that I have never been to before. <laughs> All right, that was awesome. Great workout, did pull day. As you probably know, there are different packages you could get when you sign up for a gym. I did the one that's a whole year contract and I paid for the whole year up front, so that makes it 1200 baht a month, I believe. I'll verify later when I give you the totals of everything, but yeah, I did the one lump sum payment for the whole year, so I got the lowest monthly price. Now we're gonna hit the Konbini, the convenience store, get some protein and some water. <laughs> this protein and it's all leaking out the top. Look at that. Got to throw it away. Let's try this one. All right. Like I said, this is not a penny pinching budget. This is not a low budget. I'm still working my cybersecurity job based here in Bangkok. It's hybrid. So I will work remote. Sometimes, most of the time. It is an international company, but the job position is based here in Bangkok. So it's also kind of a hybrid salary. It's not quite as high as what I would make working the same position as a cybersecurity engineer in a Western country. But for Thailand, it's a very comfortable salary. So that's what I'm working with here. As I already told you, this condo is 19,000 baht per month. You can definitely get cheaper if you live in a less central area or if you get an older building or something like that, but it's a pretty good price for the location of this condo. So 19,000 baht per month for the condo. Food, food is something that I do spend a lot of money on because I, I do love Thai food, but I can't eat it for every meal. So I eat quite a bit of Western food, which is much, 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 much more expensive than Thai food in Thailand. So I don't eat breakfast though. 
I usually just have two coffees and a protein shake for breakfast. I also order Food Panda and grab food quite a bit to save time from going out. It's not nearly as marked up as it is in the West and what I was used to in the US. I mean, in the US, when you get Uber Eats, it's like double the price of what you normally pay at the restaurant. Here, it's not really like that. There are some extra fees, of course, but it's not like it is in the Western countries. So that's pretty cool. I just order food to save time a lot because a guy be busy. I drink bottled water when I'm staying here in the condo because there's no water filter on the tap water. Tap water, I wouldn't recommend drinking that. So I do drink bottled water, unfortunately. 150 baht for water and tea. Breakfast is a 50 baht protein from 7-Eleven and two coffees, that's about 150 baht, so 200 baht for breakfast. Lunch, I'm gonna estimate around 300 baht because sometimes it's less than that if I go to the Terminal 21 food court that's next door. Sometimes it's a little more if I'm not really feeling Thai food and I get something else for lunch, it can be a bit more, so we're gonna average out to about 300 baht for lunch. Dinner, I'm gonna average out to 700 baht per day for dinner. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. Sometimes I have Thai food for dinner also. Sometimes I have Western food, which can be you know up to a thousand baht. So estimated average 1,400 baht per day for food. That works out to 42,000 baht per month. And I'm gonna round that up to 45,000 baht can be more. I like me a diverse range of foods. <laughs> cell phone service. For both Wi-Fi and cell phone, I have them bundled with True. Wi-Fi 700, cell phone 1000. I know that's expensive, but this is completely unlimited. 4G, 5G, unlimited everything. Water bill, water's really cheap, so that's 120 baht per month. Power, electricity. After after we started recovering from the worldwide uh, incident, it started going up a lot once I moved here and, and subsequently power, what they charge for power has been going up and up and up. So power is 3,500 to 4,000 baht per month. I'm gonna estimate this at 3,500 baht per month because months that I travel more, I'm not here running all this stuff and using the power. So 3,500 baht per month for power. Entertainment, like movies and events, concerts, stuff like that. And then also occasionally uh, some other events and things like that for entertainment. So we're gonna estimate 6,000 baht per month for entertainment. Gym, doing Jets Fitness like you just saw for 1,200 baht per month. Transportation, this is for grabs which is our Uber here in Thailand and the trains, BTS and MRT. Some days I don't even pay for transportation. If I'm working remote, I can just work from the condo or around here. So some days it's nothing. Some days it can be a lot more. If I'm rehearsing with my band or playing shows that month, then I gotta be using a bunch of grabs and taxis and stuff. But I'm gonna estimate 4,000 baht per month for transportation. Groceries, I don't buy food groceries really because I don't cook here. So groceries is mainly just home supplies you know, like tissues and cleaning supplies and stuff like that that I need for the condo. So I'm gonna estimate 4,000 baht per month for that. Splurging budget. I'm gonna work in a splurging budget here because I really don't drink that much anymore. I'm about done with that. But every once in a while, maybe once a month, uh, we'll go out and I'll have drinks. And then dates, uh, occasionally I'll splurge for dates take the lady out for a nice meal or some kind of uh, entertainment or something. So I'm gonna do 8,000 baht a month for splurging. If you watch this channel, you know that I go to some countries that are not cheap, like uh, Hong Kong and Singapore. I travel a lot, which you will know if you've been watching this channel. So I'm working in 10,000 baht per month for travel. I don't travel every month. Even if I don't travel one month, that's for savings for travel for the next month. So 10,000 baht per month for travel, averaging out. Now hobbies, I 
play in a heavy metal band here in Bangkok. And I also have some other hobbies, Magic the Gathering. <laughs> this is kind of a hobby too. I mean, sometimes I have to buy things for YouTube. I want to get a new camera. Sometimes I get new microphones and uh, accessories for my rig here that I'm using. So estimating out 2000 baht a month for hobbies. Health insurance, I'm not working into this budget because I have health insurance included with my job. And then last, but certainly not least cost, is hidden costs. I don't know about you, but I find in life there are a lot of hidden costs. Hidden or maybe not so hidden. So I'm working in 8,000 baht per month for random stuff that comes up and also girlfriend stuff, you know? No money, no honey. Sometimes I gotta spoil the lady. The grand total for my monthly expenses living here in Thailand is 114,520 baht per month. I know that is more than the average, even expat, is spending here in Thailand, but like I said, I'm a travel vlogger. I spend quite a bit of money traveling and trying to live it up when I'm traveling. I'm not really cutting too many costs. I would encourage you to do the same and live a life of abundance. This is really what I try to do instead of instead of having a scarcity mindset of trying to pinch pennies and save money and stuff. I go with an abundance mindset, which is that I try to make more money so I can enjoy more things, eat nice food, have nice things, stay in nice places, right? All right, so even though that budget was high for Thailand, you gotta keep in mind that it's still way less than my expenses would be in the US. And I still make less here than I would in the same position in the US, but but it kind of equals out in the end. But actually it's a net win because if you consider how much I'm able to travel around Southeast Asia, if I was in the US, I'd be able to travel within the States, maybe? Not really though, considering the price of hotels in the US to stay at decent hotels. So yeah, I mean, it's still a much better value for me living here in Thailand as my base to travel around Southeast Asia, it's full of wind. So I'm gonna pack up my stuff and move out of here. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you have not yet, and I will see you at my next residence.